I've done security for over 12 years, so I've always been around some sort of violence. People are attacking you with knives and guns and, and all that sort of, you know, not even one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you're getting caught from behind and all sorts of things. So to be in a ring with a, in, a, in a controlled environment like that with a referee and, and a person who has similar intentions, so you don't feel bad for hurting them because if you don't do it to them, they're going to do it to you. I've always been somewhat of a violent person in that regard. Boxing for me was a, a good choice because it just gave me that outlet to do something else. I'm Lucas Big Daddy Brown, professional boxer from Australia, basically looking forward to uh, taking over the world. I'm from Australia, um, born and raised in Sydney, and uh, just before I fought for the Australian title, uh, I signed a management deal with my manager, Matt Clark. Um, he basically said to me that once I did win the Australian title, we, we could come over to UK and, and put a performance on for Rick and, and hopefully sign a deal with him. So I came over here, um, knocked out Paul Butlin in four rounds, and yeah, the next time I came over, I signed the deal and away we went. So uh, at the moment, it's absolutely sensational. Pop, 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 bang. He disguise it. He knows you've got power, so you can't just blast him out. You've got to disguise it. Okay. One of the guys that's inspiring is like that. He's, he's, his, his front guard yeah. is excellent. So I'm going bang, 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 and like yeah. nothing, you know what I mean? So yeah, I've had to sort of a little bit more of that and then come around. Come here, come here. I think initially um, it comes from baseball. I was a state pitcher when I was younger. So the actual action of sort of swinging my hips through and, and my right hand and everything else, uh, I think that really sort of attributes to that. I've done a little bit of Kung Fu as well. So a sort of a little bit of power transfer through that. I'm 120 kilos. So if I can sort of harness that right, it, it sort of all comes together well. Touch him and then round the side. That's it, all that way. Touch him and that's it. Still ugly. He throws one that long, that long right hand. Really catch it, catch it. See what you know. See what. However he handles his first. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you push on him. See how strong he feels. You know what I mean? And then we got, got a bit more of a rough idea. Then what I used to do in the first round is just time a few shots. See what his speed's like. Yeah. You know what I mean? See how heavy he is. See what his power's like. Lean on him. See how physically strong he is. And then you can go from there, then, can't you? In the dressing room, it's it's very much a, just a chill out sort of thing. Um, I don't want to stress myself out and use up any unnecessary energy for any any reason. So, yeah, it's it's very much um, just chatting to whoever's around. Everyone's nice and calm, and they know what I'm like anyway. So, yeah, it's just a very chilled out environment. It's nice. Basically, I just want my name to be remembered. Um, yeah, it's, it's something that's very humbling to be able to walk down the street and especially in another country where people yell out your name from a car or something like that or want to take photos and things like that. So it's, it's something I've always wanted to, to sort of have and yeah, boxing's enabled me to have that. It doesn't actually sink in and get real until we basically touch gloves or the bell goes. I've been known to fall asleep before the fight and you know, sit there yawning in the corner before it starts and everything else. So, uh, it comes back to, I think, the um, doing security side of things and I'm not worried, nervous or anything when I'm in the ring, which is, it's, it's quite nice. I, I wanted to be a little bit more of an animal sort of thing, but um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind being nice and relaxed at the same time. Okay, uh, keep your punches up, good luck and we'll fight. Thank you very much. I think to some extent I do have a, a killer instinct when I, when I do sort of see a little bit of weakness and I think it's in the eyes as well, you sort of, um, you have that face to face uh, just before you touch gloves and you know, generally the stare down and everyone has that sort of stare down sort of thing. And, once, once a person's eyes change and they realise that they're, they're, they're done for, I just go in for the kill. Yeah.
Right on the lip. Your jab is so underestimated. Yeah. Honestly, your jab is like sometimes you literally with that jab, bang, mm. you're knocking back three foot. That, that, oh, look at my knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how much yeah. I was hitting him and how hard I was hitting him. He was knocking back with the jab, bang, he was going back. Well, basically, the, the, the future for me is hopefully a, a world title. Um, as many as, as I can get and as many times as I can defend it. You know, it's, it's all about uh, me getting out there and, and having the right exposure and the right big fights and, and hopefully some money to go with it. You know, it's, we don't do it for free sort of thing. You know, it, there is the love of the sport, but I'd like to pay my rent at the same time. So um, just basically big things, yeah. Hello. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you very much. Ну что, матч реванш? Very hard man, very hard. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one, this one. Oh yeah, come, come here. Okay.